Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Uh, Randy? Uh, Randy? Oh, hey, Randy! Hey! Oh, nice how you doing? Nice to meet you, buddy. What's hey, going on? How are you? Wow. <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> uh, this is, uh, my name is, uh, oh gosh, what's my name again? It's Razor Ray. Razor Ray, yeah. folks! <laughs> hey. He's here! Razor <laughs> Ray! Randy. He even has a nice shirt on. Yeah, well, yeah. check that out. I well, thought I'd be cool. official, you know? I mean, uh, you know. Look at the, that. The R, the, hey, the RR the R in, in the, the shop. shop! Well, there we go! <laughs> <laughs> wow, very cool. Well, thanks for coming by. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having me, buddy. Yeah. Uh, got a few projects that I'd like to have the, some help yeah. on. And, you know, so uh, if you got a little, you know, a couple minutes here and there. A <laughs> couple minutes? Yeah. Uh, I, could, I could see this is going to be more than a couple minutes. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, I've been busy and i got things to do as well. And, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. So I thought I'd come over and, you know, make make it worth your while to have me oh, around. <laughs> How much money do you have? Uh, let's see. <laughs> They got some change here. <laughs> Rub anyway, a couple nickels together. <laughs> anyway, for everybody, uh, this is uh, uh, Ray Goff. Uh, you probably see in his comments uh, on, you, yeah, on Facebook one, and, one two. and on uh, YouTube channels and stuff. But this is uh, Ray. Yeah, and, hey. Uh, hi, folks. Nice saying, to meet you all. He's saying hi to everybody and uh, came up to visit. So what better way to uh, get introduced to, uh, to the YouTube, YouTube and, the, and the Facebook community? <laughs> Than to be standing next to the man. Oh, no, no, I'm, you know, no, so. not me. But, <laughs> no. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, it's a uh, Ray. Tell, tell something here. Yeah, Ray's, a, Ray's really a welder. Yeah, my, my profession, than, my uh, background uh, is welding, fabrication, uh, you know, um, just making stuff from nothing and, and uh, doing a pretty good job, I'd say. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I've been at it for a couple of weeks now. Yeah, his welding, I must say, I'm very impressed with his welding. His welding, I'm uh, looking at this here, this is a... Oh, uh, you're too kind. This, this is, this here's a... Uh, yeah, that's, that's my, my back just went out, but uh, this is a stand. One of my contraptions. We got to, we're, we're going to go to work on, and uh, the welding is absolutely, really, very nice. I, wow, uh, thank you, Randy. It, it looks, I mean, I've looked at a lot of welds, and I tell you, those are beautiful. Yeah, thank They're you. Beautiful. And it, this was all wire fed. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. yeah. So, now we're gonna put some retractable casters on this thing, and uh, Randy's here to, um, you know, help me. He was gracious enough to have me, you know, come over and give me a hand in designing and and finishing the fabrication. And I would have done it at home if I had my mill back together, but my mill's apart, so mill, well, mill we needed and, a mill, mill and we needed, lathe work. We needed a oh. real lathe to work <laughs> on lathe. instead of my little toy at home. <laughs> yeah, that, that's helpful. So and, uh, we need to put some holes in there. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna show we're gonna get this set up. Yeah, set uh, up on, on the mill, mill and get some uh, holes at least started. Yeah, uh, to, uh, what their location and stuff. So at least do that, get that done, and then uh, we'll be doing some machining. Yeah, got to make um, a make an arbor here for my. And then we're oh then another project we're gonna make us. This is a a a, th a themac yeah, themac themac tool post grinder, and uh, we're gonna. This is a. We don't an know intro. what the taper is, but I, I just we we we'll, we measure we'll measure this, and uh, figure out the taper, and have a th internal for internal grinding arbor that goes in there. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so we got to make that the wheel set up. Yeah, we're gonna be busy and, for. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little tail bit, maybe a day or so, two days. Right? Yeah. A day or so. At yeah. least a day. More than a day. <laughs> I know it's going to be more than a day. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, folks. Yeah. So. That's that's what we're going to do. All right. Well, let's yeah. uh, let's get started. So, and, we're, uh, uh, we're going to turn the camera. So, we're going to have the cameras kind of set up at a wide angle uh, as we get this thing set up. Right. And then we'll do a little zoom in shot. It's uh, dr just drilling. But this is at an angle. This is kind of a, I don't know, it's like what, four or five degrees or so angle. So. Ooh, and it's kind of big, and so we're gonna get it on the table. Right, we're gonna mount this actually on the table, uh, so we can drill straight holes uh, between the two here. The axle goes here. There's an axle gonna go all the way through. And the so wheels will go like swivel that. like that. It, the wheels will be in the tube though. Yeah, in the tube. Yeah, kind of a hidden type thing. So, yeah. So we'll swing around. We'll, uh, we'll get some shots. Uh, yeah, we gotta get this uh, get, done. Get, get, get uh, we gotta, we gotta head down. And we have another meeting. Yeah, we have another meeting. An important meeting. A very important meeting. Here, uh, now we mentioned it. Hang on, let me. Yeah. 
<laughs> so, so uh, there. So uh, for uh, the what's in the for Keith Fenner's what what's in your toolbox uh, deal? Uh, you know, uh, I've been working on the, the punch stuff, and we've sent the I made the punches, the test punches. We sent them to uh, Stan at Bar Z. He uh, did a nice, yeah, fabulous beautiful job. Beautiful job on heat treating them. It's the first time I've had them back in my hands, and uh, they look fantastic. He did some grinding also, and uh, then he shipped them up to Ray, and uh, Ray brought them down, and we're gonna test. We're gonna test them, but we're gonna go down to Ray Canicula's house, uh, his garage, Ray's garage. Uh, of course, I'll put everybody's links up. You've already seen them probably before, but I'll put them up anyway. And uh, we're gonna go down to Ray's uh, garage, and we're gonna test them down there. Yeah. We have. We've got some iron out here. That, we've got some armor yeah. plate, some hardened steel, uh, heat treated stuff, and we'll probably come up with some aluminum and, and things, and we're going to uh, test the punches on some pins and the center punch. We're going to test it with the point that stand ground, and then we might even regrind it. It's probably the plan, and test a little different angle even. So we're going to put them through a full test and yeah. whack them with a three pound hammer at least. <laughs> well, you know, so. if I may, I mean, you know, Randy <laughs> is giving credit to, you know, all the others, you know, Stan and, and, you know, whatnot for his part of it. But Randy is the one that came up with these things and he's the one that actually made them to begin with. And they really are very, very nice. So Stan did an awesome job from the heat training, from what I can see. Um, and the grinding, I mean, you that, know, did yeah, a beautiful job. That's that, just that, spot on. That pit punch you know. came out perfect. So Stan did an excellent yeah. job. So thank you, Stan, for you know being a part of this whole thing. And I'm sure the person that receives these will well, no, appreciate them. Not these, maybe, but no, not though. Those are going to be the test punches. And yeah, we, if we break one, we break one. And, right. But but when we, when we finally uh, when we get everything set on the materials and uh, and the heat treat specifications and things like that, there's a few more details we're going to. You know, and the type of the type of knurling, um, and other people. You know, we're gonna have more than one person making punches. Right. To put it that way, uh, I don't I haven't figured out you know who or what or anything like that yet. But yeah. after we get the specifications done, then we'll start figuring out who wants to make some punches and right. maybe you know two two punches a person. It is like a total of twenty. I want to say it's twenty four punches. I think total. Yeah. Yeah. Something so like that. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a real nice set of punches and. Uh, but this is the uh, standard. So. This is you know, and this is all thanks to you. Oh so, wow! <laughs> Thank you, know, you. We're following your your lead here on this. So, uh, yeah. you know, that's where that's where this all this yeah. started was right here in this shop. Yeah. So. Anyway. Uh, well, I, you know, I give credit to Brad, uh, uh, basement shop guy Brad Jacobs, uh, for coming up with the idea yeah. of sharing. Yeah. Great uh, idea. The the building of of different tools uh, uh, amongst people right having you know, the, the build, different people different involved. parts of tools so they're so uh, we're gonna I think Brad said there was 40 something people on the list uh, participating in this uh, people the machine things and right. stuff right. Uh, or you know if you're not doing machining maybe you know maybe like Stan maybe you know I'm sure Stan will make a couple punches but he's doing to do the heat treating. Right. Uh, that's who I want. I'd really like to have Stan do all the heat treating on all the punches. That way they're all the same. I agree. Uh, but if there's somebody back east who wants to do some, I mean, we could do that, but we'll have the specification so everybody does the same thing. Yeah. We want we want all the punches to be a yeah. set. We want them to look the same right. and things right. like that. So, Are you sure that somebody has an oven on the east coast? Oh, somebody's got an oven. They, all, think so? they all have kitchens. Oh, they all have kitchens. That's true. Okay. So. <laughs> but um, I, don't, I don't know. But I'm just, I'm just saying that you know, we can, we'll work things out so uh, uh, there'll be several people involved and yeah. you know, things like that. Yeah, so. it's a great, great idea, Brad, yeah, that you yeah. came up with this. So Yeah, well, I really want to have, you know, Brad needs the credit for the yeah. idea. I, yeah, I agree. I really think it's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be uh, quite a toolbox. Yeah, uh, not to mention the guys. If, if we make all the stuff Brad's got on the list, I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's... Yeah. It's gonna be pretty nice. That's gonna be one lucky. It'll be a lucky person. It'll be really, yeah, really, really pretty yeah, sweet. Definitely. So, uh, so. It'll be pretty cool. But that's uh, so uh, yeah. So uh, later we're gonna head down to Ray's uh, place. He's about an hour and ten minutes from me, and so we're gonna 
do the testing down at his shop and uh Right. Uh, do, we'll shoot video. I try not to I smash. Think, I think know, we'll shoot video. My <laughs> fingers and stuff, you know. <laughs> we won't let you have the hammer. Okay, good. That might be a good idea. <laughs> I'm not holding the punch, but you won't have the hammer. <laughs> welding torch, I'm comfortable you're with. Good with but yeah. beaters, you know, that's yeah. a whole different story. Yeah, no, no <laughs> <laughs> All right, Randy. Okay, so those are those are the punches, guys. Aren't those things beautiful? I know I know Ray, uh, Stan showed them, but man, these things, these things are awesome. Yeah, they are. <laughs> So, all right, you guys, uh, we'll get busy doing some work here. Okay, okay so uh, I did some trades. I'm doing, I'm doing a trade, I should say. This is a live trade. <laughs> uh, with a famous viewer. Well, he hopes to be famous. So there was an auction, and uh, there was a tap and die set. And uh, I showed you the tap and die sets I had. And... This is a, tap, a little giant tap and die set. Now these are Greenfield, but they're World War II era. Uh, I'm not sure before or after we discussed this, but we don't really know. But it, it, it's made the same way as the other ones I've showed you before, but my other ones are bigger. This is the, the die handle from uh, my set. This one's missing the die handle and made that set. But that's okay. We'll figure something out. So anyway, so uh, my viewer is... This, Ray Goff. I know everybody doesn't believe that. But he's actually here in the shop. I feel honored. <laughs> he's the my, honor is mine, believe me. <laughs> he's my first visitor ever. <laughs> but Ray's here, and uh, so uh, he was able to pick this up for me uh, at the auction. It's been pretty good. This is a number five uh, tap handle. Now I have a five, six, and seven. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> and no, Adam, you can't have it. No, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, what we're doing, what we're trading here is, uh, is this a little package here. By mistake, I have bought two of these sets. They are ball gauge, a ball gauge set. So Ray's going to open it. He needed one, so I traded him. Yeah. Here's the knife. Oh, what is this? How do you use this? <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's sharp. <laughs> and you're supposed to cut to yourself, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Keep your hands out of the way. Okay, so we'll slice that bad boy. Yeah. yeah. Fold this thing out of the way so it's uh, not dangerous anymore. <laughs> not dangerous I'll give you. that back to you. <laughs> you didn't even <laughs> cut I hurt it. myself. <laughs> Look at this. What kind of knife is that? Yeah, what is that? Okay. Wow, look at this. That one popped up there. Don't drop this on the floor. Yeah, boys yeah, and girls. yeah, lose that. Yeah. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool stuff yeah, right there. Go get closer. You can get really, really close. You guys there you can go. Uh, see this. Yeah, we're talking tiny, tiny. Eighth inch. To, uh,. One inch. Yeah. The size you can actually hold and hang on to. This is the size of Ray's balls here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe it's hey, a size here. Hey, that was supposed here. to be a I'm, secret. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, now you have all sizes. This is balls. awesome. This is going to be great. <laughs> we are we are going to attempt to build my build me an arbor for my Themac tool post grinder. That's right. We're going we're gonna to build one. And that's why uh, we purchased these things so we can do some measuring because it's an internal Taper. shaft with a thread that we are going to have to make. And so this is the best way to determine those sizes. Well, the, the, to measure the taper. Right. The inside taper. We, right. don't, we don't know what it is. So we're, we're going to drop so, two balls in. We'll show yeah. you that. We're going to drop a couple balls in. We know the diameter of the balls. And we're going to measure the distance they go in and uh, make a little sketch and drawing and calculate out the uh, size of the, the taper. And uh, make a new one. Right. Yeah. So uh, this is our trade, and uh, uh, Ray made out on the deal, just so everybody knows. <laughs> yeah, sure. It only uh, cost me like five hundred dollars in gas to get over here. Oh, that's right. He delivered it. <laughs> well, I guess we'll call it equal then. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there we go. Now, uh, good deal. Thanks, Ray. And, no, thank uh, you. Thanks for uh, picking this up. It goes with my other ones, and uh, it's kind of neat to have these uh, old uh, old stuff. So. Yeah. All right, uh, we're going to 
swing over to Mill, and we're going to explain to another project we're working on also. So, thanks. So we're over on the Mill. Uh, this is a project for Ray, and uh, what we're doing is uh, he's got all these parts. God, nothing but parts. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he's building a retractable wheel, right? Yeah. R from... For uh, his bandsaw, uh, for a stand for his for, for his my own, bandsaw. For his little bandsaw. Yeah. So he wants to be able to, so it sits flat on the, so it sits on the ground on the legs when you're using it, and then you can swing the wheels down to pick it up to move the saw. Correct. Right? So uh, he's got these really nice uh, steel wheels. Steel or cast? Yeah, cast. Cast wheels, I think, yeah. They're really nice. Um, and uh, he's made these plates already. By hand now, mind you. By hand. I think he... With this hand and with this, this hand. hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, now, okay, so so he made these by hand. Now, did you, did you saw cut? first or? no i ground that, that with a grinder square. oh you ground it with the grinder i shaped it with a grinder period the whole uh, thing the whole thing whole thing yeah and you know and it feels like that hey <laughs> easy <laughs> there's some imperfection there <laughs> so he, he yeah so he says he hand shaped these he doesn't have his mill together yet right so yeah it's still down yeah, it's still down so uh he's hand shaped those and uh, well, this is going to be the shaft, or it's going to be the same that, size. This yeah. is a little short right now. That's our template. Yeah. Uh, this is the shaft for the axle, for the wheels. And we... I had um, to remake the bushings. We made... Uh, one's too short. That one's a little short. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> so we, 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 uh, we did this last night. Now, hey, this was a production run. Mm -hmm. Two bushings in eight man hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't hire us to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> we, <laughs> eight, <laughs> we got two bushings out of eight man hours. So, uh, well, actually, we got a little farther. We got this part kind of made. So, uh, let's see here. Well, I'm going to put this together real quick just to give you an idea what what's going to happen. So, the bushing goes there. That's going to go there. Um, wheel. Here, hold that, Ray. Wheel's going to go in here, and an axle's going to go in here. Now, right. there's going to be... So this is going to be on one end inside the leg. Inside a four-inch square tube. Square tube. And then there's going to be another wheel set up on over, the opposite over here. Side. The same. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to broach all this for a 3 16 key, cut a keyway in the shaft. Right. And then Ray's yeah. going to weld all this together as a unit the the yoke right. kind of thing so right. this could be slipped together uh and so we're going to put a, a groove a, and a groove uh and put to put a clip in uh, there c, cli c, c yeah. clips in there yeah uh so that the the whole unit won't be moving back and forth and then he's going to going to attach some a linkage arm and such to the shaft so you can so roll can deploy the, the so you wheels. can deploy the wheels up and down correct uh, to flip it up and um, and off up and on and off type right. of thing. So uh, so far we're we're pretty good here. Uh, we are making this is the brooch guide, but this one's too small. This is a five eighth guide for a three sixteenth key uh, for brooch. But these this is I don't know where he bought this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is eleven sixteenth stock. <laughs> Who buys 11 16 stocks? Mm. Except Ray, I guess. But anyway, this is 11 16 stock. So I don't have, of course, an 11 16 brooch guide. So uh, this is almost done. We're going to whack this off. We've already turned this part and we're going to mill this out and make a 11 16 brooch guide uh, so we can broach these uh, keyways. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that first. We'll mill that. And then we'll be broaching these parts, and uh, then I think we're then and we're, we're, and no, then we're going to set the legs up, which is all welded together. Now Ray says he's a good welder. He's better than good. He is uh, very good. Uh, I'm now impressed after seeing some of his welds, and uh, they uh, are better than mine. <laughs> Which is not saying much. Well, you know, I've only but, been doing it for a couple of weeks now, yeah. you know, so. Well, that's okay. Yeah. Just like the lathe work, a yeah. couple of weeks. I've right? learned a couple of things. 
Yeah, the, I, I'm very impressed with his welding. It's uh, it is really really nice. But you'll see some of that when we get the legs set up uh, to drill. Uh, we're gonna set them up on the mill because the thing's at an angle and and uh, so we I'm get, always so we get the axle straight. Here, yeah. So. I'm always making things angle to the dangle and, you know, <laughs> make it more difficult to and, fabricate. Yeah, well, if it wasn't welded together, it would have been easier to put the This is true, through. but, you know, <laughs> I can't think of everything. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway, I think, I think it's all going to come out pretty good. I think so, too. It's going to be great. It's going to be able to be put together and uh, have the key. And these are these are nice wheels. They are, I actually. You, uh, these are, these yeah. are really, really, really nice. And on concrete, I... Yeah, they'll be perfect. Uh, steel wheels on concrete work so good. Oh yeah, I mean, things roll really, yeah. well, really well. So, okay, so uh, we're gonna get set up here and uh, get this uh, brooch guide uh, done first, and then we'll do uh, drilling. Yeah, let's, on on the legs. So let's do it. Let's do it. All this stuff, <laughs> crazy. Okay, so we got our uh, piece in the mill. Uh, lights are on. <laughs> Camera action. Yeah, I'm gonna hit Ray in the head with a light. <laughs> Here, my surgery light, and uh, hopefully a little better. So we're gonna cut a brooch or a keyway uh, for the brooch. <laughs> yeah, in, in there, like that. Uh, three uh, depth is gonna be 367 thousandths from this surface, and we measured that with a depth gauge with one of those new fancy depth gauge. Finally, got to use one. So. That's what we're doing. Oh, let's plug the mill in. Hey, let's plug the mill in. <laughs> there we go. Let's put a little juice in there. I should set the, I should change my setting here so I can see uh, RPM. Set the dial to zero. We'll take, uh, we should be able to do 30 thousandths. Nice and slow. That's a little fast, huh? <laughs> we'll try to do that like that. I think we're going to put the air on, blow the chips out. What we're going to do is we're going to cut down through the shoulder till we're down to the barrel part. And then uh, zero up to gauge our depth because we measured off the barrel. Yeah, I think I'm going to put air on there and get the chips out. So it's a deep slot there. It's gonna take a little bit. It's a pretty deep slot, so this is a three sixteenth uh, M mill. No, I don't know. It looks pretty good to me. Yeah, that looks pretty good with my new safety bifocal glasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see everything now. Ray is test running some. Safety bifocals. Oh yeah, there's no ridge at all. That's uh, that's it. That's it. I think we're that, zero. I think so. I think we're gonna call that zero. Okay. Okay, so we zeroed the dial, so we know where we're at, and we're gonna go for 367. But I'm gonna hook up the air to blow those chips out. Uh, minor details. <laughs> So we're gonna go 367, right, Randy? On a 3 8 367. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do one, one cut. One cut. Yeah. One cut, okay? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got a pocket full of end mills, yeah. right? Yeah, <laughs> power through that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a high speed cutter, you guys. I don't think we're gonna be powering through. We're just gonna do like 30 or 40 thousandths at a time, I think. It, this is a piece of uh, drill rod, uh, WM drill rod.
Yeah, well, I'm going to go to lunch, so uh, call me when it's done. Yeah, we'll call you when we're done, yeah. <laughs> it's going to take a little few minutes here. Very nice. Yeah, it looks really good. Okay, we'll be getting back when we're uh, get there. <laughs> Okay, we uh, we took this out and we we tested it and we had to do this a little bit of uh, edge filing, especially along the bottom and in those bottom corners. But uh, we are we are, we have a real nice fit and uh, about it's as good a fit as the other ones, basically. So uh, we're we're pretty happy. Oh, Ray? We're going to give it a Ray, shot. Ray, are you happy? I'm happy. Okay. Dancing Ray. a jig over here in the corner. <laughs> so so we're, uh, we're ready to go. We're happy with this. And uh, we're, uh, ready. we'll do some broaching here. Get her done. Ready? Yeah. So we're uh, broaching everything here and uh, getting everything clocked the same. So when we put them on the shaft, we'll put the keyways in alignment. And that way all the wheels assemblies will clock at the right spot. We're almost. This is our last bushing. No, we need to shim it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You want me to sweat out on the ground? Yeah. <laughs> that thing spends more time on the ground than it does in the tool. <laughs> Great. Ready? Yeah. Nothing like a little oil. A little oil on there. A little oil. It's my first time ever broaching. So I've noticed that all we need to do is just make sure that the alignment is, is straight. And uh, Randy's beautiful hydraulic shop press here. Hey! I'm telling you, this is a fine piece of equipment. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Made by Harbor Who? Harbor <laughs> Who? I think it's Harbor Ho is how they pronounce it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Progress. Progress. Okay. A little close up there, closer. Hopefully it's just a focus. <laughs> Okay, you get to see it when it's all, we're all uh, done, uh, getting the milling done. We got this end done. Then we had to move the vise, so we re, so we retrammed it, so we had enough travel. We didn't move the uh, shaft. Now we're all set up over here to uh, cut the other keyway, huh? Yep, ready to go. Yeah, about, we're gonna cut out four inches of keyway here now. Check out that setup. Just look at, cut a keyway. Look at that setup. That's just to stop the vibrations and moving or anything. Yeah. A lot of setup today. All right, we'll bring you back for the test fit. Okay, we're disassembling it. We're going to show you how the wheel setup is going to be on there. He has a welding to do and 
couple of sir clips for, he's going to put on there but for the most part this is the, the wheel set up yeah this we is... we did this in the vice you guys but you know we didn't have to we could have we probably could have just made it by putting this on the table we were measuring it and we we probably could have but you know this worked out for us and there's always other ways to do things Andy was teaching uh, me how to do different setups. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that's that's a good excuse, right? <laughs> but uh, but honestly, we didn't even think of that. So, <laughs> but anyway, so there's the wheel set up, uh, keyed onto the shaft, uh, clocked at the same place, and uh, I'll be anxious to see uh, how all this works out on the uh, yeah, me too on the saw. Here here's the base, the legs that it's going to be mounted into right there. Uh, it's going to be right in here, and there's two bearing block spots that yeah, he's made up already are going to support it and stuff through there. So, yeah, this is going to stand. This is going to stand up, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be standing yeah, like up like this. that with legs. Of, the wheels will flip up through here. You'll cut it'll slots. Just, it'll just lift up just enough to clear the floor so we can roll it from point yeah. A to point B. Yeah. Because it's a big saw. It's heavy. Big, big and heavy. So, there we go. There's that part. We're, we're, we're that part I'm done with. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> <laughs>